Okay, in this video, you will be developing your first add-in. Are you ready? Excited? So here, I'm going to use this developer site collection that we have created and we have everything set up in our VM. So we are going to the VM where we have installed Visual Studio and everything and we'll start creating the new add-in. So to do that, click on new project, which will open the templates that are available and select SharePoint add-in. And here I'm going to name this project as my first add-in. So that's all you have to do. Once you name your add-in, click OK to create a new add-in. Now this will prompt me few details. Here I have to enter the developer site collection URL and select this as SharePoint hosted add-in. Next I'm going to click next, which will prompt me to enter the credentials to find out whether it is on-premises or Office 365. So once I enter the details, option will be selected to SharePoint Online. And once I click Finish, which will be creating a empty or SharePoint add-in project, which is of type SharePoint hosted add-in. So here on the right hand side, you can see the structure already, where I have a project with features folder. So if I expand that, I'm gonna get a feature one. Then I have a packages folder, Within the content, I have some CSS and images. Then I have pages, which is default.aspx. Within the default.aspx, I have few references to SharePoint DLLs. Then I have a jQuery reference, which I'm going to use it. Then very important file, sp.js. Then I have some CSS that I could use within my add-in. Then the complete logic that will be implemented in one of the javascript file which is app.js so you can see all of them under script folders if i open app.js here i can see that i'm trying to load sp.js then we are declaring few variables for context and user then on document.ready we are trying to call a function called get username which will get the current username who logged into this particular add-in or the app so to deploy this all you have to do is let's press f5 which will be automatically deployed to our developer site collection then you can see uh, how this works so go ahead and press f5 and look at the output window so basically what it does is it will check if the add-in is already available otherwise it will try to upload your add-in and installation will be in progress so now the action item for you is create your first add-in in your VM wherever you have Visual Studio and developer tools everything ready then call it whatever the name you want and go ahead and press F5 and see what happens. So do let me know if you have any questions on this particular video.